Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Generations Scrapnel and Reflector. Scrapnel? What? Why isn't it shrapnel? <sighs> Whatever. Here it is. Scrapnel and Reflector. Yeah, this is a nice little Scout class figure. A little small, but then again, if you remember the G1, I wish I had the G1. I don't know where the heck I'm hiding it. But there it is. Kind of I love the generations because it evokes that G1 look. Okay, there we go. There's insects mode and has reflector. Reflector's a neat little thing, and there's a the little bio if you want to really read about it. So there we go. Here are the stats for scrap no and reflector pause if you really really want to do that oh you can scan this at idw for you get graphic normal gra novel via qr code so let's see that's the bottom and it has this cool guy tailgate okay here we go uh, and this is two in a series of seven awesome let's take a look at the dude first off let's start with reflector i like reflector this is in his basic mode right here this is camera mode i like it, it looks like a nice little camera right here and the thing is it's kind of neat a very basic figure let's face it but it is what it is it's a target master so there we go and that's about it for the articulation it doesn't really have legs so to speak it does stand up but really that's all it does yeah, four. So you got that. There's also an alternate mode. Okay, you know, it's camera mode. And of course the target master mode, which basically he just pops out like so. There we go. If you want to move the arms forward. There you go. Just for extra. Put the little tab down. Now he can become a weapon. Good looking weapon. It's up to you if you want to put the arms out. He's pretty large. I mean, with that he's almost the size of scrapnel it's kind of weird saying scrapnel should be shrapnel whatever so he, he has his gun and mind you this guy is pretty top heavy already so maybe he'll help him or help him stand up there we go yeah he, he is top heavy as it is so he can hold it okay nice little small little dude let me get the size comparison out of the way he's packaged in this mode so as such, here we go. There is good old reflector, tiny little thing. There's GI Joe, G1 Goldbug, and Deluxe Class Megatron. So you can kind of tell it's a little bit bigger than Legends Class, but smaller than a Scout Class. Kind of weird. So as he in between the sizes. Let's go ahead and take a better look at this guy. I love the articulation on this. I love the pincers or whatever you want to call that, scrapnel. The good molding on the head, no light piping, doesn't move. Oh, it does swivel. Good, I didn't even know that. I thought it was pretty much on there. Swivels, good. Double, it has a, some shoulder articulation, ball joint on the shoulder. So it kind of shrugs in and out, if you can tell a little bit. Say, ball jointed elbow. No wrist swivel, but it can hold a weapon, as you can see. This is, ta-da. All right, what else we got? The waist kind of separates, but it wasn't supposed to do that. It's just supposed to be there. Ball jointed on the hips. Ball joint on the knee, so it's really good. A little swivel on the ankle. Okay, so you got some good poses for a little figure over here. That's what I really appreciate. Nice looking figure, looks good. Let's go get them in our insect mode this mode is pretty cool I like them it's a definite homage much better definite homage to the G1 so I'll give it 8 out of 10 it looks good get the pincers out here very nice let's go ahead and transform kind of an interesting transformation of course first thing we're going to do is pop this out so we're gonna move see this purple thing right here just move that out and in all right so good that gives us some room so we're gonna leave them like that like this little tab over here then we're going to put the ankles down I love the purple here very evocative of G1 move this side panel up 90 degrees and that should click there see they have a little tab right there and this little tab right there clicks in there 
and then there's two tabs here and one tab there and that just clicks in like so very nice I like the yellow the molding is pretty good on this little figure all right this is a little tricky the arms always give me some issues so I think I have to rotate them 90 degrees inward so that'll help so we're going to rotate that 90 degrees inward and the leg should be like that because we're going to rotate this whole portion right here in that shoulder joint will be so it'll be all in like so so rotate this piece right here in I see it rotate there we go and then you have these little claws or whatever mandibles yeah connect like that and then we can put the there we go just like that arms snug right there so it's looking good at the legs these two legs don't move too much I think there's a swivel joint there but I'm not going to try it because it might snap off okay we're almost done close the big huge mandible pieces and this thing right here will collapse onto it. it has a little see the knee joints right here will collapse onto itself there we go kind of a weird accordion action let me show you that again so move legs up and the swivel over here will swivel and okay let me see okay okay hold that down that's okay there we go hold that down swivel that over there we go awesome yeah kind of tricky and it just snaps into place but it's not held securely into any other place and i like the fact that it has that little slot five mil slot here so if you want you can put reflector in there in his little gun mode make it more intimidating okay put these arms back okay i actually like that that that's pretty intimidating right there he has these huge mandibles a little gap over here where you can kind of tell i, I guess he's trying to emulate a mouth but hey it, it snaps you can definitely hold something so it's looking good very nice homage i like the reflector over here let's take them off so you can have a better look decepticon logo there i wish this opens up like the g1 so the little microman can sit in there details on the back oops it's, a, it's a, to me it's a really neatly looking figure uh, i wish it could have had a better way to hide all this undercarriage junk but for a basic or scout class it's looking good here it is from the top legs don't move too much but the front ones do swivel a little bit cool okay pincers mandibles back so that's what it looks like from the side from the top there we go I like that mode give it a 7 out of 10 if it had better you know better ways to tab in oh and it does tab in there's the arms do tab in there's this little tab right there I think <laughs> doesn't hold too well but hey 7 out of 10 all right youtubers that's all I got and I catch you all next time